This is Jordan Stavroth in World Captured coming to you with another advanced feature of After Effects. We will be tracking footage today and you will learn how to apply this to your own videos to make them look even better. So basically what we're going to learn is putting in uh, this text so that it looks like it's part of the scene. As you can see it's following the camera movement because this was a handout shot and I just took a, sh took a video of a lens and then Add it in and subscribe to World Captured. As you can see, it's like sort of floating in the video. And this is a very simple, simple aspect of tracking footage. But hopefully, you can take what you learn here and apply it to your own videos. So let's show you how to do that. I'm going to make a new project. Now we're going to import some footage. I have this one. It's ten seconds long. I'm gonna make a new composition. And if you didn't see my introduction to After Effects, please check it out here. And so you can learn all the basics, but let's continue. So we have our footage here, and we're just gonna start by making sure you're at the beginning of your footage. So go to the beginning, and then you're gonna open up Tracker over here <coughs> whilst your layer is selected. Now, if you don't have Tracker over here, you can go up to window and then find it right here and click it and it will open. So now we're going to track motion and it will bring you into the layer view and you're going to bring this pin point and you're going to put it on a high con contrast area because what this does is it tracks a single point and follows it throughout the duration of your shot. So I happen to have a very nice point here it's white on black basically so that will work really well hopefully you can f um, find the point in your video to make it work really well and if you are planning on tracking before you take the video I suggest uh, maybe thinking about where the point you what point you will use to track your footage and maybe even putting a sticker on something so that it comes out really good so I did this and I'm going to do set it up like this 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 point is what it's actually tracking and then this box is the basically the outer rim of what it's tracking this box is what it's tracking and then this box is where the frame goes between each frames where the where the the point the tracking point goes between each frame so in one frame it's here and then in the next frame you want it to stay in this box you don't want it to jump out so you want to just give it a little bit of cushion room depending on how fast your object is moving if it's going slower then it doesn't really matter if it's going faster. You want to make sure it's big enough so it doesn't miss the tracking point. So now we're just going to go over here and you use this area for it. This will all be like the default settings are good. Motion source is whatever you're clicked on. Current track, that's this track type. It could be transform, so it's, it's following something. And then you're just going to do position. I mean, rotation and scale you could do if your thing is rotating or scaling, but I suggest just doing position. Now, these buttons are what you're going to use. This is track by one frame forward. This is track forward, so it's just going to play it forward and track it. This is going backwards and one frame backwards. So we're just going to click this, and it's going to go forward and follow your point. And make sure it doesn't jump off of the point, or else it will screw everything up. Oopsies. And... So it should be following the point now. And if it jumps off, just hit pause down here and then try to fix it or even retry it with a different point because usually it will not go all the way through, especially if we have like a 10 second piece. So now that we have it, we're going to make a new null object. And I recommend learning these shortcuts for all of this, all of these layer, all of these layer shortcuts so that in the future when you're working and you need them quick, you just Click the buttons on your keyboard and boom, they pop up. <coughs> so, back. So, now that you have it, you want to go back to the beginning. And make sure you click down the null. Actually, you just go here and you go into tracker and you're going to edit target. 
and it's going to automatically do null one so that's what this is you're going to click apply and make sure it's on x and y click ok now if you look in the null object and you go to position which the shortcut is p so we can just click p and it'll come up these are all keyframes of movement for the for that null object so if you look this is the null object and it follows the lens so now what you want to do you want to take your text and just put it wherever you want and we're just going to do subscribe to world captured and yeah that's basically good it's going to make this go over here drag this down put it right there and now it is not linked yet because right now it's just looks like it's just plopped on and it doesn't look natural so now we're going to link it to the null object by taking the pick whip thing over here and dragging it over to null one so now it's parented to null object and we'll follow it wherever it goes boom and the reason why you don't just apply the track to the text because changing things let's say you want to move the text right here you just move it and then they'll stay followed in the footage if you apply the, the track right to the text it won't be you, you will have to select all the keyframes and it's more annoying so i suggest just doing it the null object way because that's how everyone does it and that's how i learned and it's the best way so basically that's all you have to do now just turn off the null object so you don't see it and your words will be in your video now this is just a simple way of applying it to my a piece of footage that I have there's there's many uses for tracking if you want to put blood on a person when he falls or if you shoot someone and then you want the blood to stay on the wall you can just track the wall or if you want to put letters to look like they're on the wall then you can just track the wall and put the letters on and there's so many things to use this for it's very powerful and there's just so many uses for it so peace out world captured subscribe comment below and Thank you for watching.